Hey, it's Scott with Senior Fitness HQ doing a little bit of a morning mobility routine for you. Let's get it going. I'm going to start by sitting on this box. It can be a chair, it can be anything. You can do a squat if you're able. Down to the floor I go, onto all fours. I'm going to push my butt back. I'm going to tap my forehead to the floor. And as my hips go forward and up, I'm going to look at my belly button and push my spine to the sky as much as I can. Pushing the floor away, then I lower my body. Butt cheeks are tight, my head comes up. Again, I push the floor away. Look at my belly button and push my spine to the sky so I get a nice stretch in the back and in the shoulders and in the chest. Now I just elevate my knees a little bit after putting the bottoms of my feet on the floor. And by one side, my knees, my feet are still on the floor. It's called a tripod extension. Do your best. Toes are pulled back now. I'm trying to get a hamstring stretch and I'm doing little half circles. Make sure you keep your head up and your chest forward and your tailbone pointed up to the sky. So opposite side. If you notice my knees only come up maybe an inch or two from the floor. Practice it. If you can't do it that way, just kind of drop off to the side onto the hip and try to get into this position. So again, the half circles with the hamstring stretch, toes are pulled back. Please know that some of you just getting into these positions might be enough for you. Don't worry about doing what I'm doing, doing what your body dictates and never go to pain. So here I go, standing up, stretching overhead. Shoulders are down, shoulders can be up, it doesn't matter. Now I'm going to push to one side as hard as I can, flexing the chest, and I'm going to pull back with the opposite arm, flexing that shoulder. So I get a chest stretch and flex and a shoulder stretch and a shoulder flex. Try saying that fast. Here we are, so I've changed positions. Obviously unhappy with the box because I want you guys to be able to see what I got going on here. So again, I sit onto all fours, butt goes back, forehead goes to the floor, getting that chest, shoulder stretch, and back. Notice my spine is pointed at the sky, butt cheeks are tight right here. I look up and I push the floor away with my hands, trying to get my shoulders off of my ears. Butt cheeks have got to be tight when I lift my head back up. Back I go. All fours position again. Notice the bottoms of my toes are on the floor. I just lift my hips a little tiny bit, excuse me, my knees, and then I go into my shin box tripod extension. You can do this and make it even more difficult when you put your hand by your back pocket. Right now I'm putting my hand by my hip, by the side. Stretching out my hamstring, which obviously you cannot see, but this will be a great shot for you. Butt cheeks tight, pushing the floor away. My knees and my feet are on the ground. I'm stretching out my side body and I'm looking up at my hand so I can enhance that stretch. We all look down all day long at TVs and phones and computers. This is a good thing to do, especially after getting out of bed. Drink your coffee, set a timer, get out here and get to work for 15 minutes or so. Sitting back down. Everybody can sit down. Standing up. Butt cheeks are tight. Nice shoulder and chest stretch. Again, I do my little punch and my little pull. Remember, I'm trying to flex my chest while flexing my shoulder. And then when I turn to the opposite direction, doing the same thing, but I'm also hoping for a stretch. So now I'm going to kick the box to the curb because shooting from this angle, box is just going to get in the way. Squat's getting better as I go because it means I'm getting warmed up. I like to call this movement a rolling push-up because I'm rolling one vertebrae at a time up and back down. So butt cheeks are tight right here. I'm trying to lift with the mus muscles in my back first and then I use my arms to push my body away. Nice stretch. Bottoms of the toes into the floor. Look at that, just an inch or two. That's how much I lift my knees. So there's no point in putting in more work when you don't need it. Hoping these angles help you. The half circle, 
for the hamstring stretch. Notice again, the head is up. I'm looking out the window. I'm pushing my tailbone up toward the sky. And yes, there is a sky above my house. If you need to assist yourself with your hands to move your legs into the positions that I'm showing, that is perfectly fine. Do what your body dictates. Never go to pain. Absolutely never go to pain. And you can do this routine for five minutes. You can do one round in the morning, one round at lunchtime, one round at dinner. It's very simple. It's not time consuming. And remember, almost anything is better than nothing. Another nice chest stretch. Short syrup my butt. That's okay. I'm doing this for you guys. Looking like Iron Man right here. Pretty awesome, only, you know, I'm old and he's not. This is the last round. And the reason that I change angles again is so that you can see how to do this. And if you have any questions, you can let me know. So you notice here I put my feet together because that's comfortable for my knees. And then as my hips go forward, I spread my feet out again because that's what works for me. Try not to cross your legs when you're doing things like this because that changes the dynamics in your hips and your back and in your knees. So at least if you have your feet together, don't cross them. You can push your heels together if you want. And that will activate your hamstrings and your butt cheeks even more if that is something that you're interested in. So here we go, reaching for the sky. Open up that rib cage. Now stretching out the hamstring. I don't suggest stretching your lower back, especially if you work in a seated job. Bottoms of the feet, I mean bottoms of the toes into the floor. Here I go, notice I assisted myself using my hand to move my leg. Toes up if you can, head up, chest forward, tailbone to the sky for the hamstring stretch. It all seems a little bit redundant, but you would be surprised at how many people can do these things wrong and irritate injuries that they've had forever that they're trying to fix through mobility. Great squat for me, hips down low. I did use my hands to assist myself back up, not because I needed it, but because I wanted to show you that it is okay to push on your knees to stand back up if you're experimenting without a box or a chair. There I am, my Iron Man pose. I guess that's what I'll call it from now on because I'm awesome. So from here, I'm gonna do a curtsy squat. And the reason being is crossing your foot behind your planted leg is a challenge on your balance and that little bow stretches out that hamstring. So I hope you enjoyed this. I am out of here. I hope you like and I hope you subscribe. See you next time.